Hello and welcome to this session in which we would, we would look at an exercise or a CPA simulation that deals with asset retirement obligation. In the prior session, I explained what asset retirement obligation is. In this session, I would look at a complete exercise from A to Z illustrating the asset retirement obligation. On January 1st, 20X1, Adam Oil Reserves paid a million dollars for an oil tanker depot. Adam ex is expected to operate this depot for 10 years, that's the life. After that time, Adam is legally required to dismantle the depot and remove the underground storage tank. So now, Adam will have an obligation in the future. The estimated cost for this cleanup obligation is 100000 So this is the asset retirement obligation. But the thing is this, we don't have to pay this money until 10 years from now. So today, we have to record an obligation that's going to reflect our obligation in 10 years from now. What we have to do is we have to find the present value of this obligation. Also, what we know is the depot is expected to have a salvage value of zero. Adam uses the straight line for depreciation. The effective interest rate for similar obligation is 3%. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's start with the easy part. First, compute the asset, how much assets we need, do we need to put on the books. We paid a million dollars for the oil tanker. Well, we're going to debit the plant asset for the oil tanker for a million dollars, credit cash for a million dollars. Start with the easy stuff. Now, this is an asset. This is a long-term asset, long-term asset that's going to last us specifically 10 years with no salvage value. What do we need to what do we need to do with long-term assets? We need to depreciate them. There's no salvage value using the straight line for 10 years, easy peasy. Debit depreciation expense 100,000, credit accumulated depreciation plant asset 100,000. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. 10 years later, we're going to have the plant asset for a million. Accumulated depreciation for a million. This is year 10. Therefore, the book value of the plant asset is zero. Therefore, this plant asset is gone. That's fine. What else do we have to do? Well, we have this obligation. Now we need to record the asset retirement obligation. Remember, we don't have to do this until 10 years from now. In 10 years, we have to come up with 100,000. Now, what we know is this. The effective interest rate for similar obligation, because the difference between the 100,000 and the present value will be the interest. So our effective interest rate for a similar obligation is 3%. It means when we go to the time value of money, we're going to use 3%. And the period is 10. So 3%, the period is 10. The factor is 0 0.0744. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, you need to go to Farhat Lectures and look at the time value of money. What I'm doing is discounting the obligation to the present value. This is a present value of a single sum, present value of a dollar. Now, I'm going to take the $100,000, the obligation, multiplied by the present value factor of 0 0.744, and my obligation will be $74,400. Simply put, today I'm going to have to record $74,400, and 10 years from now I have to, I will have an obligation of $100,000. I will debit plants. I can debit any asset. I'm going to call it plants, or whatever you want to call it, or cleanup, or anything you want, but it's an asset, long-term asset. 74,400 and I have an obligation of 74,400 today. So this is my obligation today. Now what comes with each obligation? What comes with each obligation? This is a liability comes interest. So we need to know this. And what comes with each long-term asset comes depreciation. Let's start with the easy part, depreciation. I'm going to depreciate this asset over 10 years as well. Therefore, I will debit depreciation expense every year, 7,000 7,440 credit accumulated depreciation plants 7,440. This is to depreciate this asset. Well, that's fine. But I also have 
an obligation to be aware of the obligation would require interest therefore every year i have to record some sort some sort of an interest expense on this obligation because this is a liability specifically long-term liability therefore i'm going to take for year one 74,400, which is the book value of the liability times 3%, and that's going to give me interest of 2232, the interest expense for year one. Well, I debit interest expense, 2232. Am I paying anything? No. All what I'm doing now is increasing my obligation by 2232. Therefore, I credit my asset retirement obligation. That's for year one. Well, year two, what do I need to do? Year two, I will need to compute my interest expense, which is I'm going to take my loan value in year one book value plus what i added in year one multiplied by three percent and my interest expense for year two is 22.99 the first thing i want you to notice it's a greater than year one which it should be because my loan obligation went up my asset retirement obligation went from 74.44 i added to it 22.32 therefore my interest expense for year two is 22.99 my asset retirement obligation is increased again by 22.99. Now for year three, I will do the same thing. I will take my original obligation plus year one obligation added plus year two obligation added times 3% and my interest expense should be higher than year two. I will debit interest expense credit asset retirement obligation. Also, I am going to book this depreciation entry 10 times. So by the time I'm done, this plant or plants asset is gone as well now i'm not done yet i'm not done yet because i got rid of the original plant asset of a million i showed you how to how we get rid of this now we get rid of this plant asset at the end of 10 years it's worth a million what we're gonna have after 10 years too is we add the interest expense and asset the asset retirement obligation we're gonna have an asset retirement obligation of a hundred thousand now we are ready to remove the asset on december 31st 2030 adam paid a firm 105,000. Hold on a second. We thought that's going to cost us 100,000. Well, it costs us a little bit more. That's fine. So what do I need to do? I need to remove the asset. I debit asset retirement obligation 100,000. So I can get rid of this asset. This I'm sorry, get rid of this liability. I'm going to have to debit a loss on the retirement of asset retirement obligation of 5,000 because I paid 105. So I paid cash 105. I debit the loss. Now, if I happen to pay less, I will have a gain. Let's assume I paid 95,000 for the sake of illustration. If I paid 95,000, just basically got a discount, it's 5,000 discount or 5,000 less than what I expected, I will have a gain. So I'll either have a gain or a loss, or I could just, you may, maybe I can sign someone with a contract with someone in year one promising to only pay 100,000, most not likely because it's a 10 year period, but everything is possible. But the point is you may not exactly pay 100,000. You may pay a little bit more, a little bit less. The difference will be a gain or a loss. So also the retirement obligation is gone. And remember the million dollar is gone. At this point, the company can keep this on the books or they can do a reversal and just remove all the plant asset or the accumulated depreciation if they want to, or they can keep it because the book value of the assets that we created is zero anyway what should you do now go to farhat lectures and look at additional multiple choice true false exercises that's going to help you with asset retirement obligation and other liabilities whether you are a cpa candidate or a student this topic is important don't shortchange yourself good luck study hard i'm always here for you the cpa exam is worth it